Bonjour et bienvenue à la classe de français. Hi parents and students of French 1, this video is for you. So, during this video we're going to quickly go over what to expect and uh, grading policies, what my classroom will look like, what it'll look like online, as a hybrid, in person, all of that. So, in order to do so, I'm going to start off with a quick uh, example, essentially. Alors, qui est Monsieur Krenz? Qui suis-je? Moi, je suis de Littleton, Colorado. J'enseigne le français depuis huit ans et j'aime faire de l'escalade. J'aime jouer au tennis. J'aime voyager en avion. Ça, c'est moi. Je suis allé à l'université de Gonzaga. Ça, c'est les grands étangs. Ça, c'est Golden. Voilà, c'est moi, Monsieur Kearns. Now in English. Who is Mr. Kearns? Who am I? I'm from Littleton, Colorado. I've been teaching French for eight years now. I like to rock climb, travel, play tennis. Um, I do coach rock climbing and tennis, girls tennis at Golden. Um, I have a master's in teaching and learning and a principal's license. And I enjoy teaching because I like trying to have a positive impact on young people's lives, as well as just imparting a little bit of the French culture and French language that I'm passionate about. This is our general block schedule. You'll see that in other classes as well. Here's what you need to know in order to get information from me for French 1. Right off the bat, we need to sign up for Google Classroom. I will try to add everyone I can, but here are the codes. You go to classroom.google.com and you type in these codes. So if you're in period two, this is your code. Period three is right here. Period seven over here, okay? I also use an app on the phone called Remind. You can sign up for that by going to remind.com on any uh, device, any internet device, that's computer, whatever, or downloading the Remind app, or by texting the following codes to the phone number 81010, okay? So 81010 is the number that you text to, and what you say is at gold fr12, like right here, at gold fr13, anything like that. So we've got those pointers right here, okay? Those are your codes depending on the period, all right? So you text that to the phone number 81010. I'll also have all that information on Google Classroom. So the key is sign up for Google Classroom. Parents, please sign up as a parent on Google Classroom so I can share things with you if I need to say things to just parents or remind you of upcoming events, anything like that, okay? So what to expect in my classroom? As I've already said a few times, Google Classroom, that's the on there, that's the learning management system, LMS, that I will use, okay? You can expect daily agendas in the stream, that's like a Facebook feed or an Instagram feed, the stream. Daily agendas will go out there, they all have the date on them. Anything you have to do and turn in will be referenced in that daily agenda and we'll have a place to turn it in in the classwork tab, okay? So, what to expect in a hybrid model. When we are in person, my goal is that we spend at least 90% of the time listening, reading, speaking, and writing entirely in French, okay? At least 90%, hopefully entirely, okay? When your class, like the other half of your class, is in person, but you're online, if you're an A and the Bs are in person, but you're online, while you're online, you will then be doing the um, exploring the structures, the grammar, the language that you used in person in class. So either you will get a little English 
maybe like you'll get an English definition and explanation in English of the grammatical structures that you already saw in class or that you're going to see in class, or you'll get a worksheet, you'll get some online games playing with those structures, but then when you're in class, you're just immersed actually using those structures, using the language, okay? And then on Fridays, usually, um, we will all be online all at the same time, whether you're A or B, if you're in the same class period, you will be in a Zoom class with me, okay? So you're following that schedule, the Zoom class won't take up bell to bell the whole schedule, but during that period, you will log in at the beginning to Zoom and you'll meet with me, okay? And we will talk as a whole class. We can get to know the rest of the class. We can do an immersive experience, some assessments to see if you got everything from the week. I can help you out on anything you still are struggling with. Um, but the main thing is doing those live classes because the key is to use the language. We are no longer learning about the language like maybe a lot of parents did in school where um, even myself when I went to school we did a lot of worksheets and grammar drills and things like that um, which can be helpful tools and we will do some but they don't teach you to actually use the language very much and we'll get back to that in a minute grading um, Student grades will be broken down into two categories, overall proficiency and supporting work, okay? So, supporting work looks like quizzes, classwork, homework, your participation with us, your basic stuff like that. It's super important to participate um, and keep practicing, but that's only 40% of your grade. 60%, that says interpretive, get myself out of the way. Um, these assessments, these are like big assessments that show me how well a student can use the language. So you'll either listen to or read a text and then do some kind of activity to show that you've understood it. You will either talk to another student or to me and that's what we call interpersonal assessments where you're listening and speaking. You have to understand and then respond and ask your own questions. Or presentational assessments, that's where you're presenting something either verbally or in like an essay format, okay? So your ability to actually use the language. Those are big assessments. They come at least uh, two every six weeks, okay? And then the final exam is being hidden down there. The final exam is also 15%, okay? That's what makes up 60%, which shows me how well you can use the language. So if I keep saying that classes are a little different, what's a proficiency-based classroom? I'm not gonna play this video right now because that might take too long, but this video is the first link in Google Classroom. So all you have to do is sign up for Google Classroom, and then you can watch this video, which kind of explains um, how my class might be different from a traditional language learning class, all right? So, if we're in this weird situation where Mr. Kearns expects me, even in French 1, to be able to understand and to speak entirely in French when we're in the class, how can, how can I succeed if it's not just like making sure I fill out a worksheet and turn it in? Well, Got to be bold. You have to speak up. You have to be compassionate, be open, and try hard. What I mean by that is you got to take risks. You got to just put yourself out there, and that's very difficult, but you will be rewarded. I promise you. That is the key. Um, if you don't understand something, you have to speak up. You have to advocate for yourself. That's a key part of something that you're going to learn in this class, not just like French and culture, but you're going to learn hopefully how to advocate for yourself and how to succeed when encountering some tough situations, okay? So it might be hard or scary, but know that I want everyone to become a proficient French speaker in my class. So I want you to succeed, but I don't know you're struggling if you don't tell me. Um, or I don't know you couldn't find a link, for example, if you don't email me or send it on remind or something, all right? 
um, as we're online, it's super important that you let me know. If maybe I forgot something or you can't find it, just, just let me know. I'm here for my students at all times, so um, all working hours. Um, so you also have to be compassionate. We have to understand that you will make errors, I will make errors, everyone does in their, even their native language, okay? Um, we all make errors in English if we're English speakers, but that's okay. So you're gonna make mistakes and errors, your classmates will make mistakes and errors, but that is not only okay, but it's good and necessary in order to improve. So you have to make those mistakes. You have to throw yourself out there and just say, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna make a mistake and I know it. And then we have to be compassionate and I will do my best to do that as well. Be compassionate toward you when you make mistakes because that shows at least you are trying and that's what I ask for. So. And then that you are open. You're, we're going to learn about other cultures in this class. We're going to learn about French culture, but as well as um, all the other Francophone cultures. Okay, we're going to learn as much as we can about other cultures that speak French, which uh, you'll learn quickly what those others might be. And then I ask you to try hard. Just do your best. It won't always be easy, but if you work hard, you will do very, very well in my class, and I want you to. So here's a few general systems that we will use, some online websites. Classroom is the key, keep saying that. On there, we will use Google Forms, Docs, Slides. I use Remind, as I mentioned already. I'll also use Flipgrid, Quizlet, Quizzes, Zoom, Pear Deck, Screencastify, which is the tool I'm using right now to record this video, and Edpuzzle. Here's my contact information. That's about all the information I have for you in this French One video. Um, my email is listed below. I also have created a Flipgrid for parents. If you, as a parent, have a question, you want to play around with it and see what it looks like as a student, you just want to have fun with it, you want to introduce yourself to me, that'd be great. Go for it. Um, you can find that on flipgrid.com slash French parent. But here's my email address. More information on joining Flipgrid, you go to flipgrid.com and you type in the code French parent, or you go to this link right here. Okay, um, type that in into your browser and you'll also be able to find it. You can just, you'll see a video of me on there. You can introduce yourself as a response to the video. You can then see each other's videos. You can like responses. You can make a video response to a response, all kinds of things like that. So. Um, if you're wondering what that will look like for students, don't worry. I um, will make sure that I view videos before they go out to the whole class. There's many videos that only I will view and not other students. Um, and I also will monitor or um, make sure that those kinds of interactions are appropriate and that the only people that log into those flip grids are students from our class. But this one, is for you parents. So log in um, and say, hey, ask me a question on there if you'd like, or just take a look at it if you wanna see what this Flipgrid thing looks like, because I plan on using it a lot this year so that I can actually get a gauge on how well um, students can use the language, how well they can speak it, and you can actually hear and see videos of other classmates. So thank you so much for watching. I look very much forward to starting off the class. Feel free to email me or ask me any questions on that Flipgrid. Otherwise, au revoir.